Okay, hello guys. Um, I'm really excited to make this video because I finally got the bioethanol farm to work. So, um, this is going to be kind of a tutorial, uh, but mainly just showing off my bioethanol farm. You can make this any way, like any, any layout possible that you want, as long as it's connected properly. Um, my layout's a bit all over the place, but um, all you need for this farm... Well, I guess I'll show you guys the main farm first. That, that'd probably be the best idea. So... This is the main farm. Um, uh, a key important thing of this, you could you could make really any farm, like like the way you want it, but uh, you want to have the absorbers. You want to have absorbers lined up to pull, you know, the the wheat to the conveyor belts. Now you guys can copy this farm right here if you want. You can just copy it right now. Uh, maybe I'll give like a be better overhead. Just do a two by four with wheat fields put fences make sure to use fences because if you use walls walls sometimes glitch the wheat fields through the floor and that is not good at all it's not good for your fps not good for your game and definitely not good for your production now i don't know why this fence got messed up here this is not supposed to be like this but it seems to still be working so i guess it's okay um then you got sprinklers on both sides another key feature is you want to have walls up at the top because obviously he tries to get out um and you want to have an offset uh, on your sprinklers. And basically what that means is just you want there to be a constant the wheat for him to go to. Because these guys, uh, their AI, path, uh, they path to wheat, right? Or farming crops. Um, so you want to always have a wheat to, for it to path to. So it doesn't like try to get out like it just did over there. Obviously, I didn't do it perfectly. But uh, mine works pretty well. Um, you can just copy down this layer if you want. Uh, it's totally okay. I mean, uh, this is a tutorial channel after all, so I'm not going to show you exactly how to make it because you can you can see right here. If you do want an in-depth video, I could totally make one, but you'd have to comment it below because I, you know, I gotta know if you actually want to see one like that. Then from there, you just have it drop onto a conveyor belt. You know, simple stuff. And then uh, for the automatic part, you have to have it drop into a, a chest first, right? A steel chest, well, any chest really, but steel chest obviously works the best uh, if you're not in the Hell Age yet. I know there's a new chest in the Hell Age, haven't gotten there yet, I'll get there soon. Um, and then you're going to want these things called craft connectors. Now, I didn't know what they did at first, I was pretty pretty confused about their use, but I'll show you guys the crafting recipe down here. It is in... It's in the module along with absorbers and such you need silver you need bioethanol and you need batteries so you already need to have a semi bioethanol farm to make some of these you're gonna need probably i'd say i think i think i used four i'm pretty sure i used four because i have double production um but if you're doing one production line you only need uh two so you want it to craft connect into the cooking pot and you want to uh press e on it you can you see here once it has the craft connection you can you know set up an auto craft just like an automatic um crafter um so you want to set up that auto craft for the wheat flour then you want to put a dropper on it now putting droppers on cooking pots kind of weird but you'll figure it out i'm sure you will um then it goes into another chest this cooking pot totally unnecessary i put it here because the wheat flour was flying off uh in this direction sometimes so I just put it there. It also fly off here, I guess. Um, but it works most of the time. Uh, then from that chest, which has the wheat flour, you want to put a craft connector on that chest as well. And you want it to craft connect to an aging facility. And then you want to auto craft the bioethanol, right? Same thing as last time, except now you're with an aging facility and you have the auto craft on the bioethanol. Then you put a dropper on the, bio on the aging facility so it drops out the bioethanol into a chest and you can just collect bioethanol. Very automatic, very, very glad I finally figured out how to do it. Uh, it took me a bit. Uh, craft connectors were kind of tricky at first because I had no idea what they actually did. But um, I hope this video can help you guys out. And uh, if you want like a really in-depth tutorial, I could totally do that. I'm totally down for that. Um, I'm working on three videos right now, but um, they're all pretty simple. I'm just going to upload this one right now. Um, if you guys want an in-depth video, please let me know. I will 100% make an in-depth video if you want it. Um, if you don't get something, I can always cover it in the comments. You know, I can always take a screenshot, show it to you. You know, all that stuff. Um, 
But yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, hope you guys can use this farm. Um, yeah, probably don't make it like me. Probably make these further back so they actually uh, pick up all the stuff that gets thrown into them. But um, yeah, uh, have a good day, guys. Bye bye. Stay tuned for the next couple videos that I'm releasing, which will be in probably the next, I don't know, two hours, three hours. All right, have a nice day. Bye-bye.